So one of the things I always work on as a healer myself um, and always wanting to work on my own self-development is I do intuitive healing on myself. So this is where in the morning I will sit down and I will invite my my guides in, so that may be angel or other, and um, and then I ask them for healing on a maybe a, a specific thing. Um, one of the things that's been happening recently for me um, well, periodically, is a sense of I'll see a, I'll see almost like a river, and what I'm learning is that this is the river of life for me. So if this sort of comes up in my vision, I know that actually we're going back to another lifetime. Um, and what I then start to experience is I relive what might have been a traumatic moment in that time. So to the extent that I can feel like maybe there's pressure in the rib cage or rushing or fear, I'm seeing images um, and I get a real sense of that lifetime. And, and, you know, it's not like I was Bob, I was 55, I lived in Missouri or whatever. It's it's much more, um, it's, it's the content of that moment that has informed me in somehow so that traumatic memory so whether it was I was attacked by a tiger or whether it was um, I was judged by the village and I felt this resentment and there's always this there's a memory um, and then there's a clearing and a releasing of uh, what remains so often and that can come up when I'm asking for help in a particular area in my life now suddenly it's like actually it's linked to something that I'm unconscious of that has come from another lifetime. And I find that this does come up with my clients as well, particularly when they hit a certain point in their healing journey, um, that in fact, you know, there can be other influences that are bigger than our lifetime experience now, because we do not come in as a fresh slate. That is my experience. It's, you know, whether we are carrying ancestral agreements or, um, vows or whether we're coming in with you know we don't just pop off from one lifetime into another and um, uh, you know have a traumatic event and it's like wiped clean it's like oh I'm totally fine <clears throat> you know there can be these imprints that can follow us through and inform our triggers or our behaviors and our relationships anyway so that's something that I've been working for or working on myself um and yeah it's just become a it's a, a regular and an interesting occurrence that that I explore so that's one way that you can you may find that if you start to do your own you know if you're working on your own healing journey this might come up at some point